Okay, we're going over right angle triangle problems. Now, this is question 8 from last night's homework. This is supposed to represent the CN Tower here. It says that the CN Tower is 550 meters tall. It says we're standing on Toronto Island, which means we're 1.13 kilometers away from the CN Tower. We are 1.5 meters tall. And the question is asking us to find the angle of elevation from our eye line to the top of the tower. So, first of all, we need to convert. I have two things in meters and another thing in kilometers. How can we convert this kilometers to meters? <laughs> yeah, let's times it by 1,000, which will give us what value? How many spaces do we move in? Just two? Three. So we're actually 1,130 meters from the base of the CN Tower. Now we all know, we've seen the CN Tower, I think. Yeah. Yeah. No. CN Tower make a 90 degree angle at the ground. I don't think it's perfectly 90 degree. But for this question, for the purposes, we're going to make that assumption. Okay? So we know this base here is 1,130. From our eye line to the top. How large is this part of the tower? We don't know because they've included the base. Yeah, so how do we find it? Yeah, we have to subtract 1.5 from this. What is that going to give us? There we go. 551.5 meters. Okay? So, we just figured out this part of the building is 551.5 meters tall. So, I'm looking for this angle. I have the measurement of what side. What would this be in relation to the angle? This is the adjacent. And I also have the measurement of what would this be? Opposite. So, I have opposite and adjacent. Which of the ratios tangent. does that? Tangent. So tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So let's fill in our info. What's theta in this question? X. So we have 10. X is equal to, what is the opposite measurement? 151.5. And what is the adjacent measurement? There we go. So, we need to isolate for x. To isolate for just x, what do we do? Someone mentioned it before. Yes, we've got to bring in 10 over, so it becomes the inverse. So, we're looking for 10 inverse of this value. And you could have solved this value first. It's completely up to you. My calculator works best if I put it all together. So, we take 500... 51.5 divided by 1,130. And we find the inverse of this. Inverse 10, 26. Am I in degrees? Yeah, I'm in degrees. So 26 degrees. You can walk across. So the angle of elevation to the top is 26 degrees in this question.